Chattanooga City Council members are keeping more Airbnbs from coming to the area for the time being. This after some residents spoke out against the vacation rentals. News 12's Brian Armstrong has reaction from both neighbors and councilmen in tonight's top local story. And yes, it's motion to deny. Two different resident owners on Jefferson Street were denied of a short-term vacation rental permit by the city council. Multiple residents sent in letters and or spoke at the meeting on why they objected to the short-term rentals coming to the area. We're just a really family-friendly neighborhood and we are all great friends and vacation together and go out to dinner together and we just wanted to keep it that way. We get to, to see everyone. We know our neighbors. We, we talk to them on a daily basis. When we've got Airbnbs behind us, we see regularly those people, I don't know who they are. My kids play in that alley. They also play on the street. Now we're going to have more folks that we don't know who they are. Derek Taylor with Bellanova says his client purchased the home with the intent of turning it into an Airbnb and they felt they addressed the community and council's concerns regarding noise and parties. We use 24-7 uh, noise monitoring hardware and technology, so if a, uh, a, a decibel level goes above our threshold, we're immediately notified 24-7, and we can prevent that from happening. Council members say they denied the request due to the amount of pushback from the Jefferson community. Definitely understand all the provisions that uh, the Airbnb uh, managers and people that own it wanted to take, uh, but this community definitely is uh, in need of some work. And uh, especially due to traffic, I've had some issues down there myself. When I start to see these maps, I start to see a saturation. And I just think at some point we're going to have to have a serious talk about the number of these businesses located that are taking homes. Taylor believes his client will likely sell the house due to being denied the permit. Brian Armstrong, News 12 Now.